The labyrinth, an enigmatic structure renowned for its intricacy and the formidable minotaur lurking within, holds an air of mystique and danger. Legend has it that the labyrinth was crafted by the skilled hands of Daedalus, a renowned architect and inventor. As we journey with Theseus, the valiant hero, we are transported to ancient Greece, where the fate of Athens rests on his shoulders. Imagine standing at the entrance of this mythical labyrinth, feeling a mixture of awe and trepidation. The sun casts angled rays through the tall stone walls, illuminating the narrow corridors that wend and twist in bewildering complexity. Theseus, fueled by determination, and the weight of his sacred duty, takes his first step into the labyrinthine maze. The narrow corridors seem to stretch endlessly before him, concealing the minotaur's lair deep within. The echo of his footsteps reverberates through the stone walls, reminding him of the path he must tread to ensure the safety of his beloved city. With each turn he takes, the air becomes cooler, and a sense of foreboding engulfs him. The labyrinth tests not only his physical strength, but also his mental fortitude, as he must rely on his wits and intuition to navigate the complex twists and turns. With unwavering resolve, Theseus walks deeper into the heart of the labyrinth, his senses heightened by the awareness of the Minotaur's presence. Beats of sweat form on his brow, and an adrenaline-fueled anticipation courses through his veins. Every encounter with a dead end or a deceptive turn in the labyrinth brings him closer to his ultimate goal. It is in these moments, when panic threatens to seize him, that Ariadne, the daughter of King Minos, extends her aid. She gifts Theseus a ball of thread, guiding him through the labyrinth's maze of passages, allowing him to retrace his steps and find his way back. Firmly holding the thread in his hand, Theseus continues his perilous march deeper into the labyrinth. The essence of darkness envelopes him as he delves further into its depths. His senses sharpen, and every corner he turns could potentially lead him to the Minotaur's gruesome domain. The labyrinth seems to possess a malevolent life of its own, attempting to confound him at every opportunity. Yet Theseus remains resolute, propelled by his duty to end the reign of terror inflicted upon Athens by the Minotaur. The, the struggle against the labyrinth mirrors the complexities of his mission, symbolizing the inner battle between order and chaos, bravery and fear. Finally, after countless treacherous corridors and mind-bending passages, Theseus reaches the heart of the labyrinth. The sheer magnitude of the moment hangs heavy in the air. The Minotaur awaits, an abhorrent preacher with a fearsome roar and unsatiated lust for blood. Theseus, devoid of fear, squares his shoulders and brandishes his sword, determined to vanquish this monstrous threat. In a fierce battle that shakes the very foundations of the labyrinth, Theseus emerges victorious, his unwavering courage prevailing over the beast that had terrorized and made his people for far too long. Having triumphed over the Minotaur and navigated the treacherous labyrinth, Theseus emerges as a hero. With the thread as his guide, he retraces his steps, leading him back along the convoluted path. As he steps out into the open air, sunlight embraces him, its warmth a stark contrast to the darkness that lurked within the labyrinth. The people of Athens rejoice, celebrating the courageous deeds of Theseus and their liberation from the Minotaur's terror. Theseus's mission is complete, leaving behind a tale that will echo throughout the ages, forever etched into the annals of Greek mythology.